Ooh, it's cold out here. Good morning, everybody. It is 5.30 in the morning, and it is December 13th, and we are all loaded, and I'm hooking up, and we're getting out of here early to get a jump on the sun to head down to Glamis. So here we go. All right. We are absolutely 100% loaded aired up light chain food everything but what's most important is that we made the list happy and we are just going to beat the sunrise it's a beautiful foggy morning so we are headed out finally they call her mother g glamis the sand dune capital of the world can't believe we're going to actually be there and what's known as a little bit of a glamis tradition is you bring your christmas tree after the holidays and you put it in the campfire are you guys ready or what Let's go. We are seeing a very rare sight here in the high desert. That's fog. Hardly ever see it. But it sure looks cool. Look at this fog, you guys. I've never seen the fog this thick going through Lucerne and Apple Valley. And so does this. Oh, should have seen that coming. Whoa. Yes. So we have reached what we like to call about the halfway point. Uh, it's where the 86 and the 111 split. A lot of people come in here and get gas, use their dump stations. There's a couple restaurants in here. I know I saw a Denny's now that's in here that didn't used to be here. This is kind of known as the Mecca gas station. And it's uh, one of the many spots people stop on the way down. So we're gonna stop, we're gonna fuel up, we're gonna get a dune pass, we're gonna get some ice, we're gonna get a burrito, and we're gonna get some Starbucks Ooh. and be on our way again. Hopefully there's um, what do they call those things? exactly two hours oh we've got a low one here yeah, and i'm just doing the once over everything's staying in place here just kind of checking everything out looking good oh we've had a couple casualties come off the shelves so no big deal all those beds are staying in like i we'd hoped it's all of our, our bedding here all right let's check the bearings no heat no, no heat, so spare tire staying there. Let's get back on the road. See what McDonald's? I thought you meant their milk. So I was like 10 and I was like, uh... Oh. What's that sign say? The top part. Clamous. Clamous. Okay, so we made it all the way down here. Didn't do any filming after that last stop because we were so... Okay, as I was saying before that battery died, we were so jazzed to get here because it's been like five years for my girl that she's ridden a quad here. My son, this son, has never ridden a quad here. We got down here, we got unloaded, we got the entire wash to ourselves. The dunes are right here, we can ride right here. We're warming up the quads and we just did a clutch on my daughters. Well. I had a good friend of mine do a clutch on my daughters. And he is a good friend, so don't judge him because of this. But oil started shooting out the top of the case. So I pull it apart, and what we find, that gasket was not in the right place. Now, granted, 
it was freezing cold and he worked on it. It was snowing up there. He was in the shop, but the doors open and everything. I'm giving him a little grace. I'm glad to find that because I was a little bit worried. So we're going to try to make this work, put her back in place and see if we don't have to turn around and go all the way back home. 228 miles, four hours. So I'm sitting here uh, just letting it idle, letting it build up some crankcase pressure. Um, right here, it was shooting out of the top of the side cover right here where you saw that gasket was tucked underneath. It's been idling for about a minute now, nothing yet. We'll see. All right, there she is. It took me about 90 minutes to get that thing apart. She's figuring out gears right now, so let's go. Yeah, Dad had the fuel off, so uh, she learned that one. <laughs> anyway, uh, like I said, 90 minutes, clutch cover off, got the gasket back in place, ran it in place for a long time, and no leaks. Cleaned it up real good with Windex so I can keep an eye on it. So we are going to try to get a PM ride in over to Vendor Row. We can get some really bad junk food. Well, we just went on like a two hour ride and it went really good. No more leaks, everything's working fine. So uh, they are out collecting rocks for a fire pit. And I'm just enjoying my light that I put here that lighting up the back of the truck. He's wandering around, he's gonna get lost out there. All right, so we're in for the night and I'm gonna give you a little walk around here. We're setting up the top bunk <laughs> so Colby can go up there. And then Juju and I will have all this space down here to hang out and watch movies. So. But while I set up the bed, he's, they have to stay over there. So <laughs> We are trying to go to bed for the first time. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> okay, she's... He's up there. He's almost passed out. And then... <laughs> they both have 18 inches from bottom to top. Bottom to top, I only have 14. But that's cozy, right? In there? Got a nice big memory foam there. And then I'm gonna be able to just slide right under, get my blankies, and go to bed. So we had a really good day. Um, besides the little scare with the um, clutch cover, got that fixed, and then we went on about a two hour ride. And it was just really cool to be back here after all these years. It was me and my two oldest before sneaking in out of the dunes and now it's my two youngest and I it's just been so cool so I want to go down in history saying hey me and my two kids slept in a four by eight camper basically a piece of plywood is the size yeah we lost that one say good night good night everybody see you tomorrow All right, it is January 14th. It is the morning of our first three-person camping trip. And of course, the teenager's on her phone over there. And me and the boy are watching some TV. We slept pretty good. You can see with these pictures, it was pretty tight in here. It was pretty tight in here, but we all slept really well. We were warm, no heater. Got into the 30s, but no heater needed nothing like that because our bodies kept it warm i kept a little vent up here so we're just chilling in here till it warms up outside and then we're gonna go do a little riding
Did you roll over? No. Just backwards? Yeah. So he went up and he like bogged out and you're like, oh no. Yeah, he went up and he started sliding sideways and then I had to stop and it stalled. Okay. <laughs> I'm standing backwards so I can film you. <laughs> oh. All right, let's get this thing turned around. All right, follow me. What do you think? Like it. All right, we are in the middle of a medium set of dunes. And we picked this little pad area to hang out, have a little snack, have a drink here, some water, and we have a little lookout up here. And if you listen really closely, you don't hear anybody. So. This is when we come, pardon the wind. This is when we come. We come in the off weekends or post weekend. There's nobody here. There's a few people, but you're gonna find big families, retired people, stuff like that, that just wanna come enjoy the dunes without the crazy party atmosphere. So this place is 118,000 acres. It's 46 miles long, six miles wide of riding area. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And you can just see how we snake through the dunes. Got my little eight-year-old all the way up into the top just by taking the low lines. Sometimes having to turn around and find another low line. But you made it, buddy, huh? Yeah. No wrecks. Just a couple little stalls and stuff. But we make it. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed that footage. We're going to kick back and take a break. Hey, we 
We got some raindrops. It's tiny bit. What are you doing? I'm driving around looking for stuff like firewood and rocks and stuff. Alright, is it safe? Yeah. Just have to do long turns. Long turns, why? Just in case this comes and my battery will not wrap up. Okay, so you know what you're doing. Alright. Yeah. I'll see you in a minute. So, rain's starting to come down. Uh, we got Julia's quad started. You saw me towing her back. Uh, she's got a dead battery, so we just bumped it. I told her don't stall it. So, they're getting as much riding as they can right now. It's about 3.20. We did a two-hour ride this morning. You saw that one. So, I told them ride till you're soaked, and then I'm putting everything away that can get wet. Then we'll climb in and watch movies and stuff. I got the generator underneath the uh, ATV rack. And uh, it's far enough out of there. I'm going to leave the gate down so all the fumes can get out from the exhaust. But I think it's safe under there. Um, that's also acting as a little bit of a rain guard. That's the bathroom. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Alright, buddy. Let's get you some goggles. Going to get him some goggles. Three rings and some things. Going to slide the gear bags under there. It's a good thing I used that sealant. Let's check it out. All right, we're gonna find out how that sealant's working. So this is Wash 22. There's five rows of small water dunes, and when the kids were little, we would say, look, don't go past dune one, you know, right there. And then don't go past dune two, right there. Right now they're on dune three, and that's as far back as I told them they could go. Unless, of course, they see buggies or hear buggies come, and they know to go to the top of a dune and sit there and wait. Anyway, always an adventure. That's our family's motto. What happened? I was gonna come and get gloves. 
you're coming in for gloves because why your hands are getting cold and you, what were you looking at oh you were watching her instead of the fire pit are you okay that's all that counts we can buy more of these we can't buy more of these remember what i was saying how happy i am to have a number four yeah all right i'm glad you're okay you all right yeah think you can get out of there did you try already let's see if it'll go hop in there You just might need a battery too. Okay, that doesn't look like it's working. What about reverse? No. Try it. Teach my kid how to get unstuck here. Stop. Go. Good job, bro. All right, now park it around here. Because it's raining hard now. Did you have fun out there? <laughs> you got to get you a battery, huh? Yeah. We're in and out of the rain, there goes the train. And this place is insane, right? That was cool, he honked at us, huh? Yeah. Well, it's still coming down out here pretty good. Uh, it is about eight o'clock at night, and I don't know if you can see the raindrops there, but got everything stowed away, put away, and uh, this thing really has become very useful. We got one in there now using it. There's his foot. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. We're in for the night. The rain's coming down. The camper is not leaking anywhere. I've checked. So this is the first rain test. I pressure washed it. It's never sat underwater though. So um, looking pretty good. So far, so good. The, uh, rain. We're out of the rain and we're inside of the little shower slash um, go to the bathroom tent we're protected you got your little baggie right here to put your cell phone in you got a window you know if you want to look outside and there's one um, behind you too and there's room in here we got the commode down there it's tilted sideways but uh, yeah we're gonna head back in the camper Good morning, it is Tuesday morning, our second morning waking up here. It rained all night, and that little camper did great. Not one leak, not one drop, although the rain's very loud because it's such a small little camper, you're all in there. So anyway, we slept decent, I slept decent, um, with three people. Yeah, I'll be honest, it presents its challenges, you know. There's not a lot of movement going on once you're in bed. Uh, so I'm just out here to collect some breakfast drinks, get the generator going. We're going to hang out in there, break down the bottom bed, make it big enough for us to hang out because the rain on the radar looks like it's going to clear up in about 30 minutes. And then behind that, there's not much. So if I can get one good ride in today with these guys, it'll be good. Tons of traction, no dust. Should be a great ride day before we boogie out of here so pretty tight up in there <laughs> that's my sleeping hole down in there <laughs> so Everybody awake? What? You guys sleep? Do you sleep okay? Well, it's been a couple hours. We're up to uh, about 12.30 now, waiting inside the camper, and it's still coming down. 
All right, so what we're doing is we are just gonna do crunch time, man. They're getting dressed, they're getting their gear on in the camper, and then they're just gonna ride in the rain as long as they can stand it while I'm loading and just try to make the best of this morning or now it's afternoon, almost one o'clock. So, you guys getting dressed in there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got your chonies on, don't you? Yeah. Oh, you're safe. So here we go, our little bathroom fell over. You got them? Yeah. Okay. There's your sissy waiting for you. Alright, go for it. Yeah! Look at that traction. She says she's got a track going here, so we're gonna watch her do her deal. Nice smooth shift. She's got that thing dialed. About 1.30 sun is kind of poking out, so rain has stopped. They're out having a blast. So it wasn't out of gas. Oh, what happened? It was out of chain. What does that mean? That loose chain just decided to fall off finally. That's nice. So we're going to fix that. All right, so it's about 2.45 Tuesday. As you can see, the sun poked through. Clouds all went east, way over there with the rain. And the dunes are nice and firm. So 
that little 90 can make it up even like this little well, it's about a 30 foot dune but he just buzz right up it because it's like carpet right now and I think I hear some buggies way out there way way out there but there's nobody where we're at and look at that hill I just drove up yeah that's the hill I was just talking about you came right up that big thing huh just check your goggles everything good there yeah sad how it's almost over yeah time flies when you have fun yeah but you know we have big plans in the future one time when I was camping in Big Sur when I was about six years old we got home I put my sleeping bag on my tricycle my dad was unpacking and I said, I'll see, I'm going back. And I drove down to the end of the block in Huntington Beach. I didn't know where to go. <laughs> so I drove back. I've been addicted to camping ever since. So I feel you, buddy. All right, so Dumb Daddy had it on reserve already because Polaris has it different than I'm used to. And we ran out of gas way up here in the dunes. So fortunately, our camper is only over there about a mile. I see it, and we got the flag up high. And I wrote a note, went for gas, washed 22. I took the key out. Think we're gonna make it? Yeah. All right, so here we go. I'm smart, huh? Yeah, leave it on reserve, huh? Yeah. All right, so we got the best gas money can buy. Put that up in the sun there. Good old Dunkin' Donuts. So his, give his little quad a kick. You ready? Go get it. We gotta follow our tracks. See our tracks? Here they are. Three wheeler tracks. Finding our way back. Ah, I see it. You see it up there? Were you worried about that? Let's see if I can get up here with one hand. So were you worried somebody was going to take it? Yeah. Well, look, there's nobody here. True. You hear that? That's the sound of nothing. I've actually seen quads way out there before, like five miles back, just sitting there. You know, people do the same thing. So let's get her filled up. All right. Let's do this. Let's give her the coffee, right? Yep. There you go. That sound is lovely. We'll properly dispose of this. Smart. A lot of people just throw it out into the dunes. Well, we see that, huh? And if we had found one, we could have drained some out of mine and put it into yours, which I've had to do. But we didn't find any trash. So, so we let's doing... leave it on. Let's put it on regular this time. Yeah, <laughs> might want to be a good idea. Good now. Yeah. She good to go? Yeah. Alright, let's continue on. Alright, we made it. Head back. This little trusty three-wheeler rescues two modern quads. Alright, made it back. We're gonna fuel him up. He's gonna play ride while I load. She's gonna play on her phone and drink coffee. Woo! We had the clutch, we had the dead battery, we had the run out of gas, we had the rain. <laughs> you know what they say about our family? It's always always an, adventure. an
like that? Yeah. <laughs> Sound good? Yeah. So if you click down one, you're in first. There you go. Old meets new. Kobe said, hey, I want to ride that three-wheeler. I said, okay. And I told him, just keep it in first. That's it. No tight turns. There he goes. Got it.